Hello students, it's Shayna, your teacher from EspressoEnglish.net, and I'm here with our phrasal verb of the day, which is beat up. We are almost done with the daily phrasal verb videos. Remember, I'm only doing them during the month of February, and then they will be finished. But if you'd like to learn more phrasal verbs, because there are a lot of phrasal verbs in everyday English, make sure you check out my course called Phrasal Verbs in Conversation. Just click on the link in this video or in the description to learn more about that and sign up if you'd like to continue your learning of phrasal verbs. Okay, let's learn about beat up. I'm going to describe a situation where this phrasal verb would be used, and I want you to guess, post a comment, and tell me whether you think beat up means A, cause an accident, B, physically hurt someone, or C, treat someone unfairly. Only one of these is the correct definition. So post your answer in the comments and then keep watching to find out if you're right. Let's say I have a son who's about 10 years old, and one day he comes home from school very upset. And I notice that his lip is bleeding, and he has some bruises on his body and some scrapes on his hands, and I ask him what happened. And he tells me that a group of older boys at school beat him up and stole his lunch money. So he didn't have any money to buy lunch and he's hungry and obviously very upset about this whole situation. Well then of course I as his mother would also be upset and I would resolve to call the school and talk to the principal, that's the director of the school, about this situation where a group of older boys beat up my son. Based on this example, what does it mean to beat up? A, B, or C? Are you ready to find out the right answer? Beat up means B, physically hurt someone. So in this example, the older boys beat up my son. That means they hit him. Maybe they were punching him with fists or kicking him with their feet, or maybe they pushed him to the ground. So if you beat someone up, it means you physically hurt the person through violent blows. Okay? I hope it's clear from the example. Another expression that you might hear that could be a little confusing is this. Don't beat yourself up. What does this mean? Beat yourself up? Does this mean you're hitting yourself? Well, not literally. We say don't beat yourself up when someone is feeling really, really extremely bad about something they did. Like let's say your friend made a mistake at work and it caused a problem. But then for days and weeks afterwards, your friend is saying how he's completely incompetent and he's so stupid and he can't do anything right. You would tell your friend, hey, don't beat yourself up. It was just one mistake. When you tell your friend, don't beat yourself up, you're telling him to stop um, emotionally uh, hitting himself and saying these negative things about himself. Okay, so we have beat someone up in the literal sense means to physically hurt someone and we also have the expression beating oneself up and we can tell someone don't beat yourself up if they are being very hard on themselves about a mistake or about uh, some negative aspect. Got it? If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. And also, I'd love to see you comment and use this phrasal verb in your own English. Okay? I look forward to reading your comments and your sentences. And again, if you'd like more information on my Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course, or if you want to sign up and start those lessons today, click on the link in this video. Thank you for joining me for today's lesson, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!